off the field now. We have new developments tonight in the case of Tigers minor league pitcher Evan Reed. Today he was formally charged with sexual assault. Police say the crime happened when Reed was on the Detroit roster. Tonight he is out on bail and going on the offensive. His two attorneys claiming Reed is the victim here. 7 Action News investigator Jim Kurtzner is on the case tonight. He joins us live from downtown Detroit now. Jim, this high profile case seems to be gaining more attention, doesn't it? Indeed, JP. In fact, the defense attorneys say Evan Reed should have never been charged, and they claim the prosecutor wanted to seal her case because it's weak. In writing, we object to this being sealed, and she did it anyway. Maybe Miss Worthy should be asked that question. What are you hiding? A spokesperson for the Wayne County prosecutor gave this statement to 7 Action News. The prosecution has nothing to hide. The warrant request contains sensitive information about the defendant, the complainant, and witnesses. The court granted our request to seal the warrant request for this reason. Evan Reed is 28, his accuser, 45. They met back on March 30th at a bar in Royal Oak with other people. The allegations are the woman was drugged went by taxi with Reed to the Motor City Hotel. They spent the night. She was sexually assaulted twice. Prosecutor Kim Worthy yesterday said in charging Reed, there was plenty of evidence, including casino surveillance video. You'll see this complainant who alleged that she was raped, although she spent several hours in Mr. Uh, Reed's uh, hotel room. You'll see her leaving the casino, walking by two sets of Detroit police officers without saying one word. The prosecutor charged two counts of third degree criminal sexual conduct because it contains an element of coercion. He's also charged under the theory that he committed an act of penetration when he had reason to know that the victim was physically helpless or mentally incapacitated or mentally incapable of consenting. Reed said the day he learned his one night stand was being called a rape, he wanted to show it was trumped up. I got home at 2 in the morning from a West Coast road trip when I found out about my allegations. I met with my lawyers at 8 and took a polygraph at noon and passed it on these exact questions that I'm being accused of. If I was guilty, why would I subject myself to that? Now, Evan Reed says this has been devastating to him, his family, his career. He says that's why he's not playing down the street at Comerica, but rather down the road in Toledo. We'll have a lot more from him at 6 o'clock. Also, He's back here in 36th District Court on August the 12th. Joanne?